Hey guys, welcome back. I want to show you guys some minor details I like to tell, especially lower belts. I mean, there's more advanced ways to protect your foot, but at the beginning, there's some very basic ones that actually work at a very high level that I like to tell anybody. So anytime you're here, the first thing I'm always trying to think of, if I'm putting my foot on anywhere, I never try to just stick my foot out. Because if you stick your foot out, that's just, you're asking for a foot lock. So even if I'm coming in here, and when I start putting my foot in, you'll see me, I always tell people, cut your foot into the body. Try to keep connected constantly because if you're, if my foot's here, it's easy to grab. If my foot's placed on somebody, it gets just a little bit harder. And then when they do go after the foot lock, it kind of telegraphs the move. So the next step of this is, is you're here, somebody starts grabbing your foot. Now, to get foot locked from here, it's really hard. They have to usually stand straight up or they have to fall backwards. And usually the general rules fall backwards. So the thing is, is so if he starts foot locking me here, the, one of the big common mistakes I see is he'll drop back and the person here just kind of hangs out. They don't do anything. Let him set this up, they let put his foot, and then this guy cranks and then you're tapping. So usually I tell people, is, as I'm sitting here and if I feel like I made the mistake, they grab my foot. As soon as I feel them grab my foot, I try to grab their lapel. If it's nogi, I grab the neck. And the whole point of this is not to keep them towards me, it's so I can feel their movement. As soon as they start going backwards, go with them. So as they come up, as they sit back, I just follow. And the big thing I always tell people, once I follow, I wanna plant my foot hard on the mat. Super hard on the mat. Cause the thing is, is for him to do this, he needs to arch his back, he needs to spread me out. If I'm pushing down on the mat, it gets really hard to foot lock this. Like it, it's nearly impossible to foot lock me at this point. He has to get me off base. This will buy me a few seconds. So usually what I do is once my foot's here, a lot of people will have here, they'll be here, whatever it is. So as they're coming across, even if they're doing this one here, even if they're doing like 411, which is a little bit more advanced guard, which in a lot of the IBJF tournaments isn't legal, but just from, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure your foot's straight on the mat. So as the foot gets on the mat and they push me, I ride them sitting back and I stand up. And as I'm standing up, no matter where their foot is, if they're here, if they're here, doesn't really matter. But even if they're here, like this, as I stand up, I punch, because I want their leg between there, and then I push. And just one sweep motion. If it's here, it's even easier. But I always do the same thing, because I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to feel it. It might be on the bottom, it might be on the top. So as I ride up, I always push, and then I punch. And then I sit right down, and you get right into the mount. At this point, do whatever you want, they're gonna let this go. I guarantee you, because now they know they've already made a huge mistake, and now they're gonna have to deal with me mounting on them. I mean, just simple chokes work from here. Thanks, stay tuned.